Good morning. All right, Mama Echo's here to practice some sounds with us. M, man, mm. M, man, mm. H, hat. H, hat. B, bat, b. B, bat, b. F, fun. F, f fun. A, apple, ah. A, apple, ah. I, itch, i. I, itch, i. E, ed, eh. E, ed, eh. O, octopus, ah. O, octopus, ah. U, up, ah. U, up, uh. Very nice. Let's do the digraphs. C K, sock, k. C K, sock, k. S H, ship, sh. S H, ship, sh. C H, chin, ch. C H, chin, ch. W H, whistle, w. W H, whistle, w. T H, thumb. TH thumb. All right, very nice. Let's go over with Mama Echo or Baby Echo and we're going to read some words together. All right, we're going to read three words together. Then you're going to need your dry erase boards or a piece of paper or anything you can write on um, to write out. We're going to do some word dictation and then finally sentence dictation at the very end. So let's read our first word. Put your hands up, be ready to tap. Red. Red. Very nice. All right, let's do. All right, tap that one. It's got a digraph. S F. Seth. Very nice. Let's do another one. All right, there it is. Tap it out. R Ash. Rash. And one last one to tap out, and then we will move on to doing our own spelling of the words. Here we go. Ready? Luck. Luck. Very nice. All right. So we are going to spell out some words. You need your dry erase board? Let me go grab mine. You can pause the video and go grab yours too. Here's my dry erase board and my marker. If you only have a pencil and paper, that works just fine also. We are going to do our dictation of words. We're going to do three words and then two sentences, okay? So our first word that you're going to write is the word tab. So say the word tab. Put your hands up. Tap the word tab. T -ab. Now I want you to build the word or write the word tab on your writing grid. You can check yours up front. Ah, uh, All right, you can check yours there. As you see, I wrote mine out using my lines. Make sure when we form letters, we're thinking about letter formation. How do you spell the word tab? T -A -B, T-A-B, tab. Very nicely done, folks. All right, let's do our next word. Our next word's gonna have a digraph in it. Ah, baby echo's trying to fly. Not yet, baby echo, you can't fly yet. Calm down. All right, our next word is the word neck. I am pointing to my neck. Say the word neck. Put your hands up, tap the word neck. N -e -k. Now I want you to write the word neck. Remember, k -k. at the end of the word is a digraph. You need to put two letters for that sound. Neck, leave a space between your words on your board. Actually, I can write mine. I should be writing. Neck. That way you can see my letter formation. I like that idea. All right. I wrote the word neck. Hopefully you did. I also wrote it on my sheet, sheet right here, leaving a nice amount of space. Oh, sorry. Between tab and neck. How do you spell neck? N E C K. Neck. All right, our last word we're going to sound out or 
right is the word chin. My chin is above my neck. Chin. So say the word chin. Hands up. Tap the word chin. Ch in. Chin. And now I want you to write the word chin on your board. I'll write mine on my board since I have time. Is a digraph. Which one? Good. C H C H I N Chin. How do you spell the word chin? C H I N Chin. Very nicely done, folks. All right. Well, we're gonna do it starting now. After we've written the word chin, we are going to write sentences. So you can actually leave the words and use the rest of the lines or the rest of your paper to write your two sentences we're gonna write. Our first sentence is going to be the, oh no, sorry, that was the wrong one. I had it right here. Oh, our first sentence is gonna be Deb met Tom. Deb met Tom. All right. Remember when we get to where we don't know, we have to tap that out. We're gonna do this all together, okay? So Deb. I'm going to write um, using these lines. Deb met Tom. Deb. D. And it should be uppercase because it's the first letter. D. E. B. Good. It's a B. Nicely done. Deb. Leave a space. We're going to write the word met. Met. M. E. met deb met tom now there's a trick with tom tom is a name so it needs to be an uppercase t -t -t. good t uppercase t and leave a nice big space between deb met and tom t ah uh, mm. and what do we put at the end of our sentence a period very good let's read it deb met Tom. Nice writing. I hope you pay attention to your letter formation. All right, let's do our last sentence for the day. Our last sentence today, I'm going to erase that. You can pause the video if you need to check your work, okay? Our last sentence today is, Deb had a bad cut. Deb had a bad cut. All right, let's write that out. Deb. We know... Some of us just wrote it. If you remember how to spell it, that's amazing. If not, tap it out. D. E. B. Good job remembering that uppercase letter to start your sentence. Deb had. Leave a space. A. D. Write the diaper first on that, like we do on D's. Deb had. A, we don't need to tap that, we know how to spell A. A, leave a space, bad, B. A, D. Deb had a bad cut. Nice job remembering the sentence, leave a space. I'm kind of out of room, but I'm gonna continue to write using my best handwriting. You can go down a line if you, if you run out of room on a line, you can drop down to the next line and continue your sentence, okay? Deb had a bad cut. K. Uh. T. Cut. Deb had a bad cut. What do I need at the end? A period. Perfection, folks. Nicely done. You can always pause the video if you need more time. I really, really love seeing how well y'all are doing in writing and how much progress you're making and how you're tapping out words. Nice big spaces between your words, a period at the end and an uppercase letter to start. Have a wonderful day. Bye.